The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Okay, and for 15, our last multiple choice question, we have one that does, uh, deals with radial and angular speeds. So we have a pulley has a diameter of 20 centimeters. It takes five seconds for 50 centimeters of belt to go around the pulley. Find the angular speed of the pulley. So what's key in this problem is remembering that you can always translate between linear and angular speeds by this equation V equals R omega. Remember that the omega or W is your angular speed. V is your just regular linear speed. They're related by multiplying the angular speed times the radius. Well, let's think about what we're given in this problem. It takes five seconds for 50 centimeters of belt. That is a, oh, that is a linear speed because it's 50 centimeters of belt per five seconds. So that would be in the unit of centimeters per second. We don't know the angular speed. And that's what we're trying to find in this problem. So all we need to do is multiply by the radius. Well, the radius, we weren't given explicitly, but you can obviously figure it out. If the diameter is 20, the radius should be half that. So this is going to be 10 centimeters. So we need to solve then for W. So here we get 10 centimeters per second by dividing 50 and 5. That's our linear speed equals 10 centimeters times W. You can see here, if this is 10, this is 10. W has to be 1. So let's think about what unit that is, though. The angular speed is always radians per whatever unit of time. We're doing per second here, so this has to be radians per second. So W is 1 radian per second. If you look at your answer choices, though, they're all radians per minute. That's a pretty easy conversion, though. If you do one radian every second, how many do you do in a minute? Well, how many seconds are there in a minute? There's 60. So this is also 60 radians per minute. That is your answer, and that is one of our answers, answer choice C. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.